Hello everyone. Um, sorry about the humming noise that you might be hearing right now, but I'm doing laundry and the dryer is right next to me, like literally two feet away from me, just outside this door. So, um, might speak a little bit louder than usual, but, um, yeah, here we go. Um, today I'm not doing anything extra special. I'm just going to be playing with makeup because it's a beauty channel and that's what I do. <laughs> Play with makeup, even on a regular basis whenever my baby goes to sleep and I have time. I'll just I'll play with makeup. So today I'm going to do something out of my comfort zone, which is a green makeup look. And right now I'm going on with a primer, shadow primer, just on the eyelids. I'm actually trying something new today. Woohoo! It's uh, the little e.l.f. bite size shadows in hot jalapeno. Let me get my brushes from back here. And let's see what we can do with these shadows. And you probably don't know this, but my favorite color is green. So there you go. It's my favorite color. Not my favorite color for makeup but or eyeshadows, but definitely my favorite color for just in general, you know? And I think we're going to do transition with that shade. By the way, these two are like metallic -y shadows. Well, this one's more like a sheen and this one's more metallic and then these two are matte. So I'm going on with that one because it looks pretty. And let's see. Let's take, I'm taking uh, Anastasia eyeshadow brush just from their um their palettes going in with that the lighter green shade it's a transition color very very lightly just grabbing one tap of it and blend that Oh, a shadow of a brush hair. Sorry. I definitely like how this eye looks better than the other one. I think I just put too much on this side. Well, let's mess it up on this side too. Okay, that'll do. And then let's go with a smaller blending brush. This one. Let's take the darkest green shade and let's stamp that right here.
I definitely think the shadows blend well. I am going to do a halo eye. Because why not? Let's go back with the ABH um, brush, take a lot more of that green shadow and let's sweep it all the way across front to back. I know it's looking crazy, but hopefully it's okay, it'll look fine later. That's what I tell myself whenever I mess up. <laughs> I know it's really muddied on the um, outer edge. It's like really blown out and everything. I'll clean it up later with some concealer. But for right now, I think that looks good. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the Real Techniques Concealer Expert Brush. Oh no, yes, Concealer Expert Brush. I'm going into that darker green um, shimmery shade and I'm just going to pack that in the middle of my eye. Whoa! I was not expecting that. That looks completely different on the pan. Do you see that? And look at that. That. That just blew me out of the water. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Yes. Million times yes. Mm -hmm. And then with a smaller with a smaller oh actually you know what let's take the ABH the other side of the uh, brush and let's go into this very gold shade. Just want to tap it in a little bit we don't want a lot there you go. And let's just tap that right in the middle. Bring in some more brightness. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. By the way, that's snoring. That was my dog. Uh, I promise he's not dying. He just, he's a Pekingese Shih Tzu mix. So he has, you know, a small nose. And so he snores. But that has said that it's okay. It's nothing too alarming, nothing to worry about. Man, I can't look away. It looks so pretty. You know, I was thinking, holy crap, cat, you need to learn how to blend. And now I'm just like, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, let me clean up the edges. There you go. I think that looks good. Let us no extra product on the brush and then I just tap 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 
make sure it's dry from the wet wipe we just used and let's blend that little edge right there There you go. Okay, let's move on to concealer. Going to blend everything with uh, this Tarte dual end dual ended brush. I'm trying to use products that I want to use up. So aside from the um, eyeshadow, there's going to be nothing else that's new in this uh, video. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte um, Foundation. I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand and we'll blend it in with... Oh man. By the way, the reason I am using this foundation which I have to say, it was, still is, sadly, one of my favorites. And the reason for that is it just looks so good on the skin. It really, really does. It looks great on the skin and it's hard to beat something like this at the drugstore, you know? or at the time that I bought this, it was. So, but now that I went cruelty free, because I know this is not cruelty free, um, when I started my transition to cruelty free, I believe this is the last foundation I bought that was non cruelty free. I have less than an eighth of the bottle left. and I haven't touched it in months because I feel guilty that a bunny rabbit died because I bought that foundation. Now, let's be real. Is it a bunny rabbit died because I bought the foundation? No, but that's the way I feel internally. This foundation is a little dark for me, but it's okay. We will make it work. And now I'm taking my beauty sponge, pressing that in, just making sure the concealer blends with the foundation. Mm 
There you go. Okay, so here's my Cody Airspun powder. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I'm not a huge baking person. Like, I don't really like it all that much, but I mean, I need to use some of this stuff up, you know? Close that off, and I'm going to use the um, Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder to set the entire face. Now I am going to brighten the under eye with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Powder in the shade Caramel Toffee. Which is this banana shade. I've hit pretty hard pan on that. Pretty happy about that. So I need to use it up a little bit. I actually use this powder to brighten the center of my face. So right there. From the same um, Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to contouring palette. I'm going to use the, the contour side and contour, bronze and contour at the same time. It's a very orangey shade, so. Thing that I've been doing lately, aside from my nose cone contour, is mm -hmm, just slightly contour the bottom of my lip, and as you can tell, it looks a bit like a lot darker, making my lip look plumper and juicier. I like that look. Pretty good, I think. Um, let's do highlight, which I'm doing the um, highlighting strips from Physicians Formula as per my previous um, YouTube videos.
Now, I'm actually tempted on leaving my face like this because it looks pretty nice. But I might just go in with this blush. No, it doesn't go. Okay, I'm just going to leave my face like this. Bronzy, highlighted, no blush. No blush. There's no need for it today. I don't think we need it. But let me finish up the eyes. I'm going to go in with a liner from NYX Cosmetics in lime green. And I'm going to, in a pencil brush, take the lighter green matte eyeshadow and run it along the lash. But I'm only bringing it mm, halfway in to the eye then I'm going with that darker shimmery shade and I'm running that on the lower lash line there you go and then, for the inner corner highlight, I'm actually going to, whoa, give me a second. So, my son woke up, <laughs> but I'm going to finish this video. And I'm actually going into the Wet n Wild um, Eyeshadow 3 Trio from their uh, Quartz collection in jade and I'm gonna take the white eyeshadow it looks white in the pan but it's actually a dual chrome green and I love it you see that it looks fantastic Look at that. Fantastic. And we are done. Let me just um, set my face and put on some mascara and I'll be right back. So I put on the setting spray and now I'm just pushing it into the skin. Then let's go in with mascara. This mascara is on its last leg, so I'm gonna go back to using one of my favorites. But honestly, this is one of my absolute favorites. I recommend it for anyone who wants volume in their lashes. It doesn't give you amazing length but it gives you volume like nothing else it's the um tarte gifted mm -hmm. mascara
<laughs> that little tapping noise that you guys are hearing, that is my son applying highlighter with a sponge. It is the damn cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, funny story, or maybe even horror story for some moms. Um, he actually got a hold of my mascara the other day when I was getting ready. And he opened it and tried to put it on his eyelashes. He missed because of his hand-eye coordination being crap, but he got mascara here and here and all over his nose. It's a waterproof mascara. Thank God baby wipes did the trick for me right there. But yeah, it was hilarious. I was putting on mascara as well. So he saw me, he thought, hey, mommy does it. Why not me too, you know? And I thought it was funny. Um, cleaned it right up, you know, took him out of the bathroom again. It was <laughs> just a little funny something that I'm sure happens to every mom out there. Um, there's no need to, you know, scream or spank your child whenever they try to mimic what you do. Um, it's, this is not me trying to get political or anything. It's just, you know, something that. I saw in the news the other day and I thought no, 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 no. it's cute um, he's not hurting himself no, he's, not hurting. No, 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 no. he's not hurting me he's not hurting himself he's not hurting the dog and he's doing more no, 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 no. finish this up with a clip of him applying highlighter guys That is him putting on the highlighter, guys. It's a dry uh, Real Techniques body sponge. And the, um, and the pan is actually pretty hard pressed, so he's not damaging the product or anything. I just thought it was hilarious and I should show you. Anyway, see you guys on the next, um, what is this? beauty youtube videos whatever the heck well thank you for coming guys to cat's world my name is cat and if you've learned something found this entertaining useful uh please drop a like give it a drop a comment drop a like subscribe it'll help me a lot if you want to share this with your friends your family your co-workers anyone the person on the corner of the street um give anything helps me out and uh, helps me grow my channel. So thank you guys. See you guys in the next one. And I appreciate your time. Have a great day. Bye.